Sup. Jesse, listen. There's been a lot of talk thrown around today. I don't know what people have told you. I don't know what you believe. But I'll just admit it. I want that enchanted flint and steel as much as anyone. Probably more than any of them. I've been searching for it for years. Do you know how much it's stung to have Dan... Dan! Swoop in and take it from under my nose. Hang on, I thought you said you found it. Well, I as good as found it. I did the research, I did the studying, I was all prepared to go in there and finally get it when that little goggle-wearing goon swept in and stole it first. Listen, I just want to get out of here and get on with my day. What do you have to hear to be convinced that the whack pumpkin isn't me? Know what this is? Tipped arrow. Kind of shoddy work, though. Definitely not one of mine, if that's what you're wondering. Some noob made that thing. Seems like something Dan might cobble together, though. Plus, I taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those a while back. Uh, do I have to be taking notes? Do I even care? I should probably care. Hold on. <sighs> okay, so, what do we know? We have a tipped arrow. Flint and steel. Redstone. Um, okay. Redstone. Done. Flint and steel. Dizzy. Done. Tipped arrow. Dizzy. And those other two? What were they? I don't know. Other girls? Question mark? Okay, continue. I'm just gonna be straight. Who do you think stole the flint and steel? Well, it wasn't me, if you're curious. If I had an enchanted flint and steel, I'd be off exploring some other world with it. Between you and me, though, I think Dan's whole story about it being stolen from him is a load of trash. I bet he's still got it. You like using redstone? Ever make traps with the stuff? I'm fine, I guess. Lights, doors, that sort of thing. Dan was always way better than I was, though. You Jesus Christ! I believe some of the stuff I've seen that guy build. Crazy conveyor belts, hopper systems. Traps would be no problem for him. Everyone's like, Dan Thanks did it! time, Lizzie. That's all for now. But was it Dan? Ready for Dan? Yeah, send him in. Dan, you've got a lot of fingers pointing at you. Hey, I, I don't know what the other's been saying, but you, you have to listen. I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. Honest. I would never hurt anyone. You've got to believe me. I don't know if I believe you, If Dan. anyone's been wronged here, it's me. That enchanted flint and steel everyone's talking about, I found that. That's mine. At least it was before someone stole it. Oh, okay. And now everything's gone completely crazy. People getting caught in horrible traps. Funny, when we were talking about the rare item before, you were pretty tight-lipped. Why so eager to share now? Why? People are dying over that thing now. I just want you to know the truth. Especially with Lizzie so jealous over me beating her to it in the end. Sit down. I'm not the white pumpkin. You've got to believe me. What can I tell you to convince you? I said sit down! Know anything about this? Oh, wow. Uh, no. I've never seen anything like that before. No? Tipped arrows not ringing a bell? Made using potions? Nuh-uh, but you want to know about stuff with potions? I'll ask Lizzie. She's way better with that stuff than I am. I always go to her with potion questions. Noted. Suspicious! Dad! Continue. So, how do you rate your redstone knowledge? Me? Whew, not much. Not really my scene. You want to know more about that stuff? You should ask Stampy. He was the Triblock champion. Okay. Out with it. Who stole the flint and steel? I, I... I don't know. I don't know anything about it. And you just expect me to believe that? Seems to me that your name's been coming up connected to that flint and steel a lot today. I'm just gonna walk circles around you for a bit. I... I just... I don't understand. You can go now, Dan. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you. Oh, come on! 
This is nuts. You had a button too. Fair's fair. It's your buddy's turn next. Hey, Jesse. Ah, my final suspect. Here to point more fingers and blame more people, I'm sure. I didn't push the button, you know. I figured. Thanks, though. How's it been going in here? It is just non-stop whispering and rumors out there. It's so hard to say. I mean, the way they keep throwing each other on the minecart tracks, it's like they're all guilty. Well, if there's one person who can untangle it, it's you. I don't know, man. <laughs> Thanks, Lucas. Come on, suspect. It's time to return to the others. What if he's the one, though? So? Have you decided? Yes. No. Who do you think the white pumpkin really is? I don't hang know. on. Hang on, everyone. First of all, I want to thank everyone for answering my questions. There's still not 100% proof of anyone, but... But... Yes. Where are your suspicions, Lady Jesse? Jesse was definitely questioning Stampy the longest. What? No! Dan was in there way longer. Hey, not cool. Guys, guys, come on. I actually don't think there's evidence to accuse anyone yet. What? Yeah, that seems surprising. I'm sorry, but I don't want to accuse anyone unless I'm 100% sure. And I'm not. Wow. Way to take a bold stance, Jesse. Well, I, for one, am not comfortable being surrounded by possible killers. So if you'll excuse me, I'm going to barricade myself in the library for my own safety. Fine, suit yourself. Yeah, I'm more in the safety and numbers camp myself. <laughs> well, that was certainly some excitement. Yeah, no kidding. If the White Pumpkin is still roaming around, though, he might be trying to set up more traps. We need to figure out how these things work. Like, we know that the Sparkles trap was triggered by those buttons under the table, but what about the trap that turned Torque Dog into a pincushion? If we figure out how these things work, we might be able to find more proof about who the White Pumpkin is, how they're operating. However the White Pumpkin did it, he must have done it from the kitchen. Yes. Seems like it might be worth our while to poke around the kitchen. You guys go on ahead. I'm gonna stay here, keep an eye on these other people. I don't want them trying anything when we're not looking. Thanks, Lucas. Yo, it's probably Lucas, though. Like... Back in the kitchen. So, what are we looking for, exactly? He's the only person... I paused, because... Lucas is the only person who's been there the two times. I don't... I don't understand. He knows I have the flint and steel, though. It doesn't make sense if he's the white pumpkin. Also, we haven't been here before. Also, if he just wanted it, Jesse would probably give it to him. I mean, I would give it to him. Let's continue. Um, Buttons like back in the dining room? There are too many loose ends flying around. A lot of evidence that doesn't add up. We need to find some definitive, concrete evidence. Got it. I'm on the lookout. Read find pork chops. All of them. Hmm. I wonder where Torque Dog's stuff went when he got sucked away. And Sparkles stuff, for that matter. Let's jump in and find out. Does this painting have eye holes? Oh, yeah. How did I not notice that before? Oh. Seems worth taking a closer inspection. So it's not Lucas. <laughs> Great. Good to know. These ovens have been busy since we first got here. Who needs that much food? Everyone in here? Question mark? I'm assuming these people want to eat at some point, Jesse. Just a thought. Punch it! Hit it with your fist! Oh! It's some sort of secret passageway! Very clever! What do you suppose that lever does? Is anyone standing on the thing, though? Okay, everyone, make sure you're nowhere near that arrow trap. More of those potion-covered arrows. Nasty. Well, seems like we found out how the White Pumpkin killed Tork Dog. Yeah, and how he's getting around the house. So, explore the tunnels. I assume we're investigating the creepy passageway? I think we've come too far to turn around now. Well, after you then. 
I don't remember where everyone was. I don't remember their names. Ah. Uh, who are these people? I hope Dan's okay locked up in the library. We could have put them in even bigger danger. That is true. What if there are more traps in there? Well, even if it isn't the right person, at least he's safe. I guess that makes sense. Sort of? What do you think that is? It's another no painting. But look, a lever! Don't do it! The amount of redstone wiring that must be hidden in this place. Amazing! Ivor, no! What do you think I am? Gents! <laughs> I was just looking at it! I don't know, you oh, are a little dense. Good. Thanks for the vote of confidence, though. I don't trust you. One single bit. See anything that this lever might be connected to? People? Use. Do you see? I'm a bunny. It's the library. I see Dan locked up in there. Dan? Okay. Dispenser? Lizzie? What are you doing in here? I snuck in past that blonde guy. Lucas, I think. We have to talk. About what? Whoa. I know you pushed the book. Whoa. No, that's not true. You don't have to lie to me, Dan. I know it was an accident. I know you're not the white pumpkin. Oh, thank goodness. That's such a relief. Yeah, it was an accident, and I felt awful about it ever since. Oh, it's such a relief to be able to talk about this. It's been absolutely tearing me up inside. I'm sure. I just... Haven't you learned anything about not pushing buttons? Oh, come on. Nothing like this has ever happened when I pushed a button. I feel just so awful. Oh, no. The white pumpkin, he's in there. Then let's go kick his butt. Hiya! Yeah. What, what on earth? Oh no. What's going on? The door's locked, Jesse! Spiders are everywhere! Okay. Kill them all! I'll see if I can get in another way! The spiders, asshole. Kill them! Kill them! All of them. Every single one. No! Save him! Save him! We're okay. He's gone. For now. Time to get to the bottom of this. I was watching you from the walls. We need to talk. Oh, no, 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 no. You heard the part where I said it was an accident, right? I'm innocent. What do I have to do to make you believe me? I could... I could go and sit in the corner very quietly and not touch anything, button or otherwise, for the whole rest of the night. Or I could go and apologize to every single person. I could... Um, I could just stay locked up in this library. Don't worry, Dan. I believe you. Oh, that's a relief. That's a huge relief. Wait, you came out of that portrait in the wall, right? Yeah. I saw one just like that upstairs. What if... Yes, maybe the white pumpkin... <gasps> oh, no! Enjoying the party? <laughs> what the fuck? That's my cue. Come on! Jesse, are you okay? I have to break through! <laughs> oh. 
Oh dear. This is getting stranger by this minute, fam. Try to keep up. I will do you one better. By running away! I think you underestimated my, my oh, wow. quick time of each skitters. Whoa. Soul sand. And lava. Time to go. Time to go! We gotta leave. What? <laughs> what? Excuse me? Okay. Press it faster. Hello. It is I, the Frenchiest Fry. Go. Soul sand. Press it quickly, quickly. So quick, so quick. It's too quick for you. Go up. Oh! What? I'm so exhausted. Idiot! Come back! What? <sighs> oh, this guy. This guy's fit. <laughs> I know, right? There! Jesse! I'll cut him off! I haven't seen Stampy in all this. Uh, uh, but at this point, it could be anybody. Lucas? Except Lucas, I guess. Uh, Jesse! Lucas? Hey. Give me a moment. I'm trying to figure this one out myself. What happened, Lucas? I thought you were chasing the white pumpkin. Uh, yeah, I was. And I almost had him until, you, you know, he took me by surprise and stuffed this pumpkin on my head. Well, what's going on in here? No! <gasps> you called the white pumpkin! Grab him, quick! On it! Get out of our way, Jesse. Yeah, it's all out in the open now. You can't defend your friend anymore. No, no, no. I know what's going on here, and I won't stand for it. One of you is still the White Pumpkin, and you're just trying to pin it on Lucas. Yeah, bold words. Especially I'm a bold man. from someone with a knack for locking up innocent people. It's the facts, Jesse. These horrible things only started happening when your group arrived. And now... Lizzie is gone too. I say we throw him outside and let nature take its course. What? I say we leave. O outside? Outside? Where all the googlies are? No, you can't do that. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I still have my suspicions about Lucas, but Jesse did save me. And you tried to save Lizzie. I don't feel right about chucking your friend to the zombies. Hmm. Brave Stan. Oh man, I'm so glad you said that. We really are just here to help. Fine. I'm not trying to kill any of you. <sighs> Thank you. Don't go celebrating yet. We've still got to do something with you so you're not roaming around freely. What? Like, lock me up in a closet or something? There was a closet in the main hall with a lovely metal door. Seems like a perfect place to lock someone up. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I was mostly joking. I guess that's fair. But I'm keeping guard because I still don't trust him. That cool with everyone? You okay with that, Lucas? Well, <laughs> I'd prefer not being locked in a closet. It's fine, Jesse. I'll watch over Lucas. Awesome. Come on, Cassie. But don't Whoa. be getting any funny ideas, blonde guy. 
this isn't because I like you or anything. Oh, it's adorable. No, of course not. OTP. Prisoners aren't supposed to talk. Okay. Well, what are we supposed to do now? We need to figure out how we're going to clear Lucas's name. And I'd like to do it sooner rather than later. Seems like some of these people are getting a little stir crazy. The White Pumpkin must have a, I don't know, a, a lair or a base of operations or something in this house. We need to find it. Sounds like a plan to me. It is a plan. It's my plan. You can't take it from me. 